When it comes to film, it is a famous statement that audio is at least as important as your visuals. So in this video, we have a quick look in how to bring the juicy audio into Blender and work with it. Let's have a look. You can get your sounds either by recording them yourself or find in the internet one of the many free websites that offer free sounds. For example, freesound.org. But be aware that not all sound files are actually free. You have to always check in the description on what terms the creator allows you to use them. Once you find your audio, you're good to go. In Blender, if there isn't underneath your timeline a second window yet, find the split in between two windows, drag down and that opens up usually a second window there. Change that window into the video sequencer, which is a basic video editor that allows you to edit your video or sound files. If you watched my Blender beginner tutorial or the shortcut video and you have changed your shortcuts to mine, then the basic navigation in here is with Alt dragging to left and right and Control Alt to zoom in and out. Otherwise it will be Alt and Shift to pan from left to right and Control and Alt to zoom in and out. You bring in footage either through the add menu here or you just drag and drop the footage onto the timeline. The sound file doesn't look like any sound file yet. Open the side menu either through the small arrow here or pressing N and here on the side you can select to show the waveform. You also find the adjustment for the volume here. If you put the volume too loud it will be marked in red here on the timeline. Right clicking on any sound file will give you the option here to put in a fade in and out. You can drag your footage now to the right spot and cut it by either open the left side menu to select the cutting tool or by pressing K to split the file into two. Select everything you don't need and press X to delete. Now you're ready to bring a lot of other sounds into Blender, level them and make any adjustments with the fade in and outs. Now the sound is only audible when you press enter to play your video. But when animating, for example, lip syncing, you may want to hear every sound when you're moving the cursor through the animation. You can activate that by changing the video sequencer again in the playback. Under playback, you can activate the scrubbing and also force it to play precisely on every frame. This will be a big help when you animate on sound and timing that is previously given to you. Now for those who want to take it another level further, I can really recommend an audio add-on which lets you bridge into Audacity, which is a professional and open source audio program. This add-on allows you to send either single clips or the whole sequence into Audacity, manipulate it there and then send it back in the right timing. For that you obviously need to download the add-on here, find a link in the description and also Audacity also linked in the description. But this step is more for the advanced people, those can just get the add-on and read in documentation to install it. That's it for a simple quick video on how you get your audio into Blender. See you around for more videos about Blender, art, painting and animation in the future. Bye bye.